Yeah, for like three days. Wow, what? three whole days. I don't remember all of them. We were in Amsterdam. <laughs> we're about to go take that cruise, so let's go hop on. Amsterdam. We've been in Amsterdam for like five minutes and we're already on a boat. Yep. Uh, on a boat. Damn straight. Motherfucker. You don't want to you know what this all says? I'm on a boat, mother. I don't know. Yeah, no, I haven't heard it. And I'm on a boat, mother. in Amsterdam. Yeah, to serve like 800,000 residents. Yeah. And there's like 12,000 of them that get thrown into the canals every year that they pull out. That's like That's a thousand crazy. a month. A thousand a month. Why would somebody throw away their bike? I know, it's a perfectly good bike. What do you suppose they do that for? I don't know, maybe it got stolen. The thief says, oh my God, what do I do with it? Ah, chuck it. Hmm. Into the canal, right? yeah. the lover's canal. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice lover's canal. Like, it, was. it was, we were hungry after that. Yeah. Starbucks coffee, Amsterdam. Yum. Let's go try some authentic Amsterdam cuisine, shall we? It's a California steakhouse burger. It's got two patties, Thousand Island dressing, and bacon. Sort of like a Big Mac with bacon. Guacamole. And guacamole, apparently. And guacamole. That's why it's the Californian steakhouse in Amsterdam at Burger King. So next we explored the art outside of the... Rid... 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 Ridiculous museum. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous a, museum. Me, there was a bunch of outdoor, crazy outdoor art, so we went and we checked that out. He was in love with a brother. Bilbis? in love with a brother. Go for it. Now's your time. Seriously? Yeah, go, go, go. You better hurry. That was some really strange art there. There was even this guy sawing off a tree limb. Someone had to have like put him there several years ago so like the tree could go around his feet and grow around his saw and stuff. Like it's a hell of a dedication and, and no one Total stole him. Total dedication. No one stole him off the tree. That I is know, pretty right? cool. I would have probably swiped him. Put him at my tree. And throw him into the canal. Throw him in the canal. <laughs> the We're at Rembrandt's house, former home. Which is also a Heineken bar now, or the Rembrandt bar. Having a Heineken. Cheers. Cheers! Whatever 
recording. Rock. It's in the middle of the square, Rembrandt Square. Beer and Facebook in Amsterdam. Well, I was just trying to take a picture. Sure you were. Coffee shop, smokery, Amsterdam, brownies. Starbucks, Amsterdam, real coffee, brownie, not from there. Amsterdam is like the Las Vegas of Europe. Yeah, there's a lot of bachelor bachelorette parties. But they're not very sinful. I mean, that girl right there is pregnant. But it was still too much for Michael over here. Yeah, so Deanna and I went out and explored Amsterdam by ourselves while someone slept the night off. <laughs> uh, the pregnant women take a lot out of you. What can I say? <laughs> take a look at the homes behind me. So you've got this house in the middle, the shorter one, that's leaning to the left. And then you've got the house next to it to the right that's leaning to the right. And you can see some of the windows, they are also slanting. Which would make it very interesting to furnish the home. You gotta make sure you know everything is level. So that you're not rocking in your bed the wrong way. Yep. to go to the Anne Frank house. And there's a beautiful tower right behind me. Look at the pretty painting. There's at least a two and a half hour waiting to get into the Anne Frank house. And that was if you arrived at 10 a.m. this morning. So it's even longer now. I was super disappointed by the Anne Frank house. Yeah, I always imagined that, now I don't want to Never it's mind. a tough thing to talk about, right? But growing up in school, I feel like you, we were always taught that she I was in a closet. I always pictured that she was in this attic. Like, but life you, sucked you know, for Anne. Being, being kept yeah. caged in she a house. She couldn't go out anywhere. Couldn't go out anywhere. And she, she dies two years later. during the day. Yeah. I, I don't want to take get, away anything. We get all no of that. No friends. Can't do anything with anybody. But that place was huge. They had running water. They had a toilet. See, I always imagined. The toilet. The toilet I, was like fit for was, a cake. It was beautiful. I had never pooed always, in a toilet. I always like imagined she'd have to go in like a bedpan. A bucket or something. Or something. And yeah. she, she had Wi-Fi. She had Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> it did it not show, it was on our phones. The Anne Frank Wi-Fi. Wi they had but Wi-Fi. You, you weren't allowed to shoot any pictures or video. No, which yeah. really sucked. Which I think the reason you're not allowed to shoot pictures or video is because they realize that once you're there, it is so crappy, no one else will come if that video gets out. Right? And there's it, no it video is. on YouTube. Of. She had her own room for quite some time. Right? She had then out, she shared, but then still, she, yeah, it was a big so, room. Yeah, she, they had the showers. The attic was huge. Yeah, they could go up to the, then they get sunlight through the attic. You know, obviously not during the day, they can't look out the windows, but if the windows are facing up. She had like the teen magazines of the time, for whatever the magazine, but like some of the movie stars and stuff like that, she had them pinned to her wall. Yeah, they had right. access to news and radio and magazines and. Yeah, the father was like tracking everything on a map of yeah. where the Germans were. They it, just, they just weren't as shut in as I, was led to believe they were. Yeah, it's... Still totally sucks. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's... But uh, anyway, after the Anne Frank house, Michael visited the red light district. As one should. Yep, while we explored Amsterdam. <laughs> Our hotel is there, and Frank House is that tower in the center there. Here we are in Amsterdam's red light district. Mm. Ooh la la. This is what it's like to be in a window. I'm walking along, and I tripped on something, and that's what I tripped on. So silly. We're in Amsterdam's red light district. Let's go check it out. there are in Amsterdam. I'm glad you asked. Currently, there are 290 windows in Amsterdam. So I wonder what a prostitute's den looks like. I'm glad you asked. This would be what a prostitute's den looks like. I wonder what it's like to be a prostitute. I'm glad you asked. This is what it would be like. To finish off our Amsterdam adventure, we took a lover's canal without Michael. Without him. I was finishing off, also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a snort. <laughs> a couple of them. The snorts usually stay. <laughs> Yes, I know exactly where we are. See that big ass tower up there? Sweat going on too. You have boob sweat? Boob sweat, see? 
under boob sweat. When I was younger, before gravity started to take place, that didn't happen. But now that my itty bitty boobies are now starting to slope a bit, we'll put it that way, I now get under boob sweat. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our videos, be sure to subscribe yeah, somewhere here. over here. And click over here for our adventures in England. England over there and Belgium over Belgium here. Belgium is over there. Belgium somewhere over here and England over there and yep. subscribe. Subscribe, like and share. Belgium. Like and share the video and like and share those videos. Yeah.